try and get aggressive. He's totally fucked up. It's up to you whether or not you want to hit me or whether you want to back off. Just keep your cool, buddy, all right? Everybody's got the same problem as you. Stay calm, okay? Stay cool, okay? A win here, especially our first win, would mean a lot to me. Everybody's hungry, everybody's fighting, everybody wants that, so definitely have to go out and get it. If we were able to win at Mosport, just winning at Mosport means more to me than than beating guys or you know inner series competition or anything like that. I just I would love to win a race at Mosport. I think we've had uh, two chances here at Mosport. I think we can really dominate the series if if we really put our mind to it. Who would you say is your biggest competition at this track? At this track, I think it's obvious. It has to be Boak, right? He's won four of the events here. I still want to beat Boak. He's beat us every round here at Mosport, and I really want to beat those guys here. He's a phenomenal driver. I think our cars and our driving styles are fairly the same, and having battling so many times with them, it's, it's incredibly hard to pass him because he's, he's very smart as a driver. And you know, I'm trying to pull out every little trick I can come up with in my head to get in his head or make him uh, force him into a mistake. But he's, you know, he's right on top of his game. We were running nice and tight with him last time, sharing the lead a bit, and he got us twice. So definitely our biggest competition. I really want to prove that we can beat Richard and the uh, Subaru Can Jam team. You know, he's a phenomenal driver, and I think I'm a phenomenal driver. So just kind of like that bit of rivalry, I guess. So, Dogger, the plan for this is to go out and do about four or five laps with this setup, and then come in. Dean Fenton uh, has uh, made a little bit of a surprise as far as how fast the BMW go today. He's got a, a 130, 13 to his credit, which means he, the fastest car on the racetrack for the first time all weekend is a BMW. Bit of a push on some of the exits. 10 4, Dogger. Give me one more fast lap. Uh, we're P1 right now. Tell the f***ing Della Dummy to get the f*** out of my way, you f***ing cut him off! Relax. See, there's nobody on pit road for those guys to talk to, so... If it's a junk lap, don't finish it. Come in the pits if this lap is junk. If you think it's a good lap, finish it. F***ing punch them! Well, there's nobody up here to talk to, so don't, don't worry about it. You're sitting P1, just relax and bring the car down if this isn't a good lap. So you said a little bit of a front push. Slow down, let him buy. Just get in here. Thanks. Yeah, f you ripped that guy's head off. Um, stuff just went again. F you think it's half shot? Can you make it around? I think so. I think we just lost a half shot. Oh, it's a drive shot. It was the drive shot? Yes, I'm sure the drive shot. How can you tell it's a drive shaft? You have zero drive whatsoever? Correct. Okay, thanks. Um, so, if park it and uh, they'll come pick you up. I've got a spare. Um, Alright, we'll see you back in the pit. Is that what it was? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I haven't looked at the times yet, so I'm not sure. Depending, as long as Boke's behind me, I'm... In front of you. Is this you? Well, how much? Quicker? I don't know. Two tenths? Yeah, I can pick up two tenths. So, yeah, no, I think, uh, I think we're okay. Fortunately, we broke the drive shaft, so obviously we weren't able to build any further on the package. So, there's what it is. I'll have to go to the race and get all I got. Going into race one, we're not going to have the best set of tires on there, I don't think. I think we're going to be running like a three heat cycled tire. That's more budget than anything. It's uh, pretty expensive for a new set each weekend, so we like to keep them around three, four heat cycles. They're uh, not optimum, but I don't think they've fallen off very much. Strategy is just keep your head down, just get to it. There's a, a car set up, he said it's perfect, he likes it. That's almost all we can do on our end. The rest is up to him. All right, Dogger, I'll try and uh, call it as soon as I see him lift his arm. Okay, here we go. Ready, ready, 
Red, green, 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 green. For the green flag, and we're racing into turn number one. So once again, the uh, the cars race through turn number one, and I look for the the uh, Marshall stand over in the uh, over in the turn one area. Don't see any yellow flags. That's always a good sign. More than 20 cars started the race today. Sasha Addis, the race leader. Richard Boak runs in second in the Subaru. Dean Fenton in the fast of the BMW. The 13 car is third. Third to get a push. Lift off. Copy that. We'll note it. Okay, we made a note. We'll fix you up for tomorrow's race, but there's nothing I can do for you right now. And it's still the race leader. Polk is in second place, and now the battle is between the two BMWs. Into turn number one, running nose to tail. There, uh, there's less than a car leg separating. Dean Fadden and Wojciechowski in the, uh, the 13 and 10 cars. Dog, it's only five points. Just be careful. As we've had another change with the, uh, the BMWs and the white 10 car, has failed to make an appearance. There may have been uh, a little scuffle as far as the, uh, the two BMWs running in very close proximity because the 10 car is still third, the 13 car is now seventh. What happened in eight? It's coming out, uh, Arik was on the inside. I was trying to keep him in tight, you know, change his line. And uh, I don't know if we might have made contact or uh, the rear end just started kind of going around. And... We white paint. We'll, uh, we'll be able to tell. Here you can push, but remember, this is about point two, so. The race leader, Sasha Addis, crosses the line, takes a checkered flag in the win. The number 10, Wojciechowski. BMW down the start finish line. He'll be second. Here's the third place, number 36 car. So the race is done. We'll meet you in the victory podium. And victory. Boke ended up third, so it did, uh, he got 10 points on him. You know, we had to we had to have beaten both. That was our only chance. So now, without being them twice this weekend, or even today, we won't be able to catch up. Though. We're gonna have to DNF like three races. Try and uh, I got too upset over it. Try and calm down and uh, go back out tomorrow and do our best again. And gotta keep trying. Hopefully, uh, realistically, I think we can definitely get second the championship points, but. Still gonna try for first. I mean, who knows what might happen, right? But it's very, uh, very disappointing. That's for sure. Hi, my name is Martin Kuzmil. I want to introduce you to our Extreme Contact family. First of all, here you have our uh, Conti Extreme Winter Contact, designed, engineered with silica compound for winter condition. Very good on uh, ice and snow traction. Four season ultra high performance all season tar, the Extreme Contact DWS for dry, wet, and snow. It's a growing segment in Canada, the whole dry performance all season, and this one is a leader in that segment. After that, you have Extreme Contact DW dry and wet. It's tuned for dry and wet. A very good ultra high performance on those conditions and road conditions. So, all this, this 104 years back of experience, give us the Extreme Contact DR slick race tar that give an extreme confidence to the race driver and the track to perform at their maximum. No matter what the weather condition, we have a tar for you. Do you think uh, the win you've been searching for is, is within your grasp or you think not today? Not today. Sasha, I don't think anyone's going to come close to him unless he has an off or something uh, mechanically goes wrong. Uh, I don't think we'll have a chance. But top three, I think we definitely will. We definitely have something in store for him today. Okay, ready, ready, red, green, 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 green. Green flag and into turn number one. Watching for the cars to come down through turn number two. We don't see any yellow flags in turn number one, and that's always a good sign. The battle continues, though. As we've got a car straight off, Sasha Addis exits the racetrack and turn number three comes to the top of the hill and and quite obviously locks up a wheel and drives it straight off. Sasha Addis, our pole sitter, leaves the racetrack before he got to turn four. Okay, dog, looking good. Settle in. P2, 
three, to start ripping off the fast lap. Richard Folks a little faster today than he was the day before. Whatever the problem was with the Subaru yesterday, it got fixed overnight. The 36 car is the race leader and substantially. The one third mark has gone by looking for the halfway mark now. Richard Folks still the race leader. Eric Wojciechowski at Dean Fenton, one, two, and three. Separated by nine seconds, the top three, that is. Pressure from behind. I don't think you're going to catch the uh, leader's dogger, so just settle down and uh, let's take this podium. Last lap, last lap. The final race of the uh, of the morning is turning into an excellent one. As we got a battle for first place, the Super trying to hold off the BMW into turn number eight one more time. This is where the uh, the BMW really shines. He's going to have to get him in the last two corners. There knows the tail. Richard Boak is holding him off, but not by much. Eric Wojciechowski is going to run out of time. He's going to try to drive by him down the start finish line and side by side. Eric Wojciechowski wins with a BMW by 14 thousandths of a second. Eric Wojciechowski wins on the last lap. Wow, that was amazing. Incredible. Eric won. He got him right at the line. Well, for me as a driver, it's frustrating because I want to be, I want to be in the action. I want, I want to be up there with those guys, really battling it out. You know, tight race. Guys in front of me, you know, right behind me. That's, that's when you come off the track, and I know I, I worked as hard as I can. I'm exhausted and, you know, just completely dead and done anything in my power to, to fight with these guys. Right? When you come off the track like that, that's a really uh, rewarding feeling because you know it was a great battle right to the end. This. Uh, like I said, there's no battle, kind of just coasting, right? We knew we couldn't catch the guys in front of us, and the guys behind us were so far, so we coasted, right? Save the equipment. I mean, you got to pick your battles, right? Why, why keep pushing if you're not going to win? So if you can coast, then take easy on the equipment. Still get the points for uh, top three, so.